welcome to Trust Levels. Uh, as my Big. dog, as my dog Mark Ingram gonna show you, Big Trust Levels. Uh, we got my my guy, uh, Mark Ingram, All Star. Not only uh, the Saints' uh, second uh, most rushing yards, having running back, but first most had. rushing touchdowns. So oh, wow! Um, and then of course, you know, he's now at the at the uh, illustrious Ravens with guys like uh, the reigning MVP, uh, guys like um, you know Mark Ingram himself. Uh, a star-studded cast with guys like Marlon Humphreys, with guys like Marcus Peters, uh, and we've got the pleasure of bringing in a Hollywood, Florida. Uh, I would say he's a track guy, but he's just fast. Um, splash into the league, running. I don't know who's faster, Lamar Jackson or this man I'm about to introduce in Hollywood Brown. Yo, Hollywood <laughs> Brown, Hollywood <laughs> Brown, Hollywood, Hollywood swing. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you jumping on the show, Hollywood. That's what Is I it? call them. Levels. Big trust levels. levels. You feel me? Brought to you by Pepsi. I did a quick little search. They had you at a, a 77 overall on Madden last year. Yeah. So so after this, after this offseason, you ain't a 77 no more, huh? Nah, I think I'm an 80 this year. They only bumped you three points? Yeah, they only bumped me three points. I said, you know, that's a lot of room to grow. So, like, when I when that update come mid-season, you know, I'm going to just need them to come come correctly. Right. They're they going to hit you with a patch of three points, though? Like we <laughs> yeah. talking about, we, we talking about, like, okay, like, you ain't show sauce this year. Yeah. I feel like they, they got to do that, though, with the way they rated everybody else. Like, they was really trying people. So, I'm like, all right, man, I'm... I'm going to my second year, you know. They continuously try people on Madden. Like, yeah, they do. Like, I seen Aaron Rodgers at 89. I say, wow. It's crazy. <laughs> they pick and choose their favorites, I'm convinced. Yeah. That's uh, it. It, it, gets, it gets a little, yeah, it gets a little special sometimes. You look over, like, you're like, bro, he at 95? I'm I'm definitely going to be at least at 90. I knew it was fake when they had LJ 94. I said, yeah, it's over for our team. He 94, <laughs> that mean... We all down there. <laughs> <laughs> he on the face of the, uh, yeah, the whole he, situation. He, he, yeah, he the whole situation. He 94. I said, oh, yeah, we down there. I know I'm out over <laughs> in the seven, 70s. No respect. Marlon Humphrey not even a 90. Marcus Peters not a 90. I said, yo, this is crazy. Wait, Mar Marlon ain't a 90. Look, I actually, uh -huh. now that I'm looking at I got this Marlon hair. Like I said, I'm, yeah. I'm in quarantine. Like, this is rough. <laughs> <laughs> no, Marlon got Marlon, Marlon was out there locks this year. Look, I, I looked up clamps. Mm -hmm. I thought he was gonna be at least ninety three. Like I'm, I was giving a benefit of doubt. Like I'm thinking he gonna be ninety five plus. But I'm like, all right, man, it's mad. They gonna give him, you know, ninety two, ninety three. They give my man eighty five. I'm like, yo, eighty five. He like eighty five. They disrespectful. They Justin gonna, Tucker. They're they gonna have to see me. How is Tuck not 96? That boy, the best kicker in the league. Sorry, Lutz, over there in New Orleans. But. I'm late. I mean, you know, most proficient kicker in the league. But, you know, it is what it is. Tuck um, hit the, need me some stuff with some bop in it. Yeah, like I said, Tuck, he, be, hey, he got some swagger to him for a kicker. Yeah. yeah. I like I like what he doing over there. Not that I'm seeing kickers too often, but I like what he doing over there. <laughs> <laughs> I see, is, is that that Call of Duty in the, uh, is that the headgear? That's, oh, the, yeah, that's the duty that headpiece. That's that night vision. That's the right night there. vision. Yeah. yeah. Night vision. Well, yeah. Night vision. It came. It came with the deluxe package. Yeah, it came I'm, with I'm, the package. It came yeah. with the package. I'm. I'm wait, not wait, saying wait, I got wait, it. Wait, but, wait, 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 wait. Night vision. <laughs> you ain't know that. No, oh, that what thing is elite. that? It's a night vision. Look, like, goggles. Like real you put them on, and in real life they work. I was nerfing the family up. We had Nerf guns going, or flaring, and I had that boy vision peeking. Yeah. Hold on, hood. You holding out, bro. I thought I was a <laughs> Call of Duty partner too, but I guess not. Sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, yeah. I, at first day I got them, lights went off. When this when I got to Baltimore, lights went off. Right? I put them on. I'm like, oh, they were for real. <laughs> real I was life. just scared. I'm like, what if I see a ghost? <laughs> uh, paranormal wait, activity. Wait. So yeah, you believe you believe in ghosts, huh? That might be something out there. 
Man, look, I, I I don't believe them. I don't not believe in them, but I'm hoping that they ain't real. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Boys just hoping. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. I really want to know, like, you know, other than football, what other sport did were you doing, and what other sport, like, did you have a love for first, or did you just come out the womb? I'm here for this for this speed. Yeah, I I I kind of like came out the womb. Like, uh, I was like five <laughs> years old. My mom bought me like this Dan Marino uniform. So like my cousins, you know, they're older than me. They they played Pop Warner, and I was like too young to play. So when I finally turned like six, my mom signed me up, and I ain't missed a year of football since I was six years old. But I play other sports. I tried to do track when I was in high school, but I ain't really like running. Like I'm fast, but I don't really like running like that. So I couldn't really do that. And then I did basketball, <laughs> middle school, and baseball wait, when I was wait, young. Wait, wait, wait. I'm really <laughs> fast, but I ain't want to do that. So that means you was in a hundred and you you wasn't hitting your times. So hundred, two hundred. So let me yeah, let me <laughs> let me let me explain this to you. He's fast, so he loves racing, but he hated the track practices. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. He hated running the six two hundreds. Yeah, six <laughs> hundreds and yeah. the three and the three four hundreds. You know yeah, what I mean? I hated you know that, that. If, if you out there running for the two, you got to prep like you running for the four. You like foe, this don't make yeah. no sense. You got to over for this. Yeah. So my mom, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just do football year round. I can't really. I can't really do this track. <laughs> you and LJ played in the same uh, Pop Warner? Yeah, yeah. So I, LJ, when I was about eight, we didn't have like my right team. So I had to go up in age and I had to play against him. And, you know, he had, you know, the dreads, you know, he bigging everybody on the field, come out bootleg, right, bootleg, left, throwing it. QB. And QB, yeah, yeah, yeah. His team was tough. Ben QB1. Like, yeah, he, he came been out QB1. QB. Yeah, he played QB yeah. all his life, like since he was like young. So, like same move, same little hmm, he he do now. He been doing that same yeah. move, mastered Man. it. Yeah, hey, look, I didn't hey. seen him on the edge one time, and I said that's the fastest quarterback hey, I've ever seen. And I saw I saw RG three. I didn't seen Cam Cap. Like I didn't seen them all. That boy turned the corner. I said, let me just slap it. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, hey, Cam. No, them Pop Warner leagues is different. They was had thousands, huh? Thousands. The whole oh, yeah. hood gambling on the. Whole hood gambling on the games, huh? Yeah, oh man. I got a little fun fact where uh, after one of the games, you left with about 50 bucks, $51 bills. $51 bills. Wait, 50, huh? Yeah. 50. Out of Pop Warner game? Oh yeah, and I was like, like the older I got, the more money you get. But you know, when you like eight, nine years old, and you get a pocket full of ones, it's like, yeah, you got oh, it. <laughs> hey, you got it. I'm going to the concession old, you, stand you all catch, day. <laughs> also, you catch $5. Like, man, I can go up here and catch this surprise bag. I can catch this Gatorade. Hey, like, I'm getting the ice cream truck for the whole neighborhood, like all my homies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boy, we, got a, boy got the stack. Boy got the whole brick. Oh, truck. stack. Hey, you know, you fold it up. They can't see what it is, you know. <laughs> Bunch of ones. You fold it up. Yeah, yeah, that was fun, yeah. man. Paul Warner down there is really set up like a, a culture and a foundation for you, like growing up. Like when I went to high school or like getting coached in college or getting coached in the NFL, it was like I was never afraid to get coached hard because in Paul Warner, it's like so much pressure on you. Tell me about that experience, man, at playing at such an intense level at a young age. Like I know they had to build you for the, for, yeah. they had to build you for it tough for the I'll situation it, right I'll now. You know what I mean? Different. Yeah. Yeah, it, it definitely be with you money like that. Mo hey, hey, <laughs> the hood, the hood heroes got money on you at eight years old. Bro. Yeah, if you don't come through, it's like the whole you gonna hear about that that whole week. They like, bro, like you this that like you can't believe you let him do that that number do that like so like you remember dudes by their numbers. So it's like yeah, that number that number one from like pumping old cowboys like yeah like you might not know his name because y'all young, but you gonna know his number and then yeah. the older you get. Like, oh yeah, that was you. Yeah, like that was me though. I was number five. I was that was that. It yeah. was like it was like right. that. That's dope. Uh, That's dope, bro. Ooh. All right, all right, take us to high school. So, you know, we went through the sports day and then so then you didn't even go, you didn't even go to, you know what I'm saying, D1. You went to to the West Coast, best coast. Yeah. You know, I went to Cal. One of my best friends is, is down in Santa Clara. So you I saw the the College of the Canyons. I was like, I was like, how Cali let you go? But where is that to, even at? Santa Clara, like right there. Who? Yeah. In the up in the bay? Nah, nah, nah. nah. Santa Clara, Santa, Santa Clara. Santa. Okay, okay. It's yeah, Clarita. Yeah. Clarita. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. It's, uh, it's high school. It was like uh, so. Part one, you know, all my friends they went to like you know local high school. 
I you know I had opportunities out of middle school to go to like the you know good high schools, but you know I chose to go with my friends. That you know I'm like man, I can you know I can go here and we could you know I'm thinking you know if you good they're gonna find you. Right. <laughs> so, but I should have took you so on the IMG and been a legend yeah. from real. <laughs> or should have given you five or stars yeah. just by entering. I would have. I was gonna go to St. Thomas out of middle school, but uh, you know, I chose to go with my friends, and I don't really regret it because you know I have fun there. And, you know, after a few years, you know, I'm putting up film, but I'm not getting anything. You know, I decided to try to go to a private school my senior year. And once I was there, you know, I was playing against the top dudes. You know, I was doing my thing, made all county, and uh, then, like, get what I wanted. So I told my mom, you know, I, I never left Florida. I never left out of the side of Broward. Like, I've probably been to Miami probably – Four times growing up, you know, I ain't, I ain't never leave out of Broward. So to tell, ask my mom for me to move to Cali was like tough. She like, you know, I don't know. I thought, what you gonna do? How we gonna pay? I'm like, you know, I'm, I get a job. You know, I'm telling her like, I get a job. You know, I'm not gonna. I was a qualifier, so I'm like, I only need six months. She like, so you gonna go out there in six months? That so I made a deal with it. Like, yeah, I promise you, it ain't gonna take me that long. So went up there, quit. You know, she never went to California. I went up there by myself. I ran out of room. At, uh, I found this lady off Facebook, ran out of room, got the job like the same week. Are you trusted somebody on Facebook? You got the job oh, at yeah. Six Flags, right? Yeah, I got a job at Six Flags. I worked there like through summer, saved up. Then one of my friends, mom, what year you know, is this? I was probably there, honestly. 2016. I was definitely there. What yeah. you working at the Six Flags, man? What ride you was working? Full throttle. Uh, no, first when I first got there, I was in the Looney Tunes world, like with the babies. I enjoyed that. When you move to full throttle, you working hard now. Like, <laughs> you with the babies, it's <laughs> you like you ain't that doing much. that much. When you in full throttle, you know, you got to sweep, work the line, you know, do the spill to the people to get on the roller coaster, do the operator. Yeah. So it was like more so, work. So, so, so you was you was the ones explaining them like, 100 yeah. feet, right. drop. Yeah. like this. Make seconds. sure you lock up. We going to be around. If you don't lock yeah. up. Three, two, one. Yeah. I hold, I hold it. I'm like, oh, man, I think it's messed up. Oh, press it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dropping yeah. it. All right, then that's you go dope. CO. You go from COC. You know that's what they call yeah. back then. COC. COC. Uh, to Oklahoma. Yeah. And then you was the, balling at COC though, or no? Oh, he was yeah, only there it. for six months, Mark. I they, went they, crazy. Wait, wait, wait. They okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Look, you got a spaz. He said I'd be back in six and left. Yeah. He he ain't go back so, to Florida though. So you went to COC and went stupid like you've been yeah. doing. So it was crazy, like, after my third game, you know, I got an offer. So I'm like, yo, like, I tell my mom, you know, it's an emotional moment. Like, I'm like, yo, I, find, I, I did it, you know. Then, you know, I got, like, three offers. Then I got, like, 10. Then I got, like, 20. And I'm like, yo, this, like, it's crazy. So then it was a hard choice for me because I've never been, you know, high school guys get recruited, you know, three, two years. And they got a long time to process this. You know, I got six months, and I'm sitting with 30 offers, and I'm like, nobody really helped me. So, you know. Uh, my mom don't know about football, so I'm sitting here like, man, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just pick out whoever got the best offenses, the biggest school, because I feel like they've been doubting me for too long, so I won't go. So one of the big reasons why I chose OU, they was playing Ohio State coming up the year in Columbus. So I was like, you know, they got Baker Mayfield, you know, they, they just lost D.D. Westbrook, you know, they got young receivers coming in, C.D. Lamb and Charleston Rambo, so I'm like, you know, I'm going to go over there. It's a big program. I got there, didn't play in the Ohio State game. I didn't get a snap. Didn't play like first four games. You know, I was sick. I was like, yo, this, they Maybe trying to try me. Through. Yeah, I was like, I went to Coach Riley, like, man, I'm not, y'all gonna redshirt me or what? Like, I don't wanna waste my year. Yeah. <laughs> but they're like, you know, we need, we gonna need you. So we played Kansas State. We down 21 7, halftime. Baker comes up to me, like, I'm gonna get you in the game. Like, got me in the game. I went for like 130. We won. In Next the, week, in the second half. Well, yeah, no, second hit, second half. It, it wasn't the first. Hit. Oh, y'all want to see something? Look, yeah. look, hold my water bottle, coach. I ain't never hey. coming back. Yeah, it was really on me though. You know, I I, I take responsibility for why I wasn't playing because I wasn't practicing as hard as I should have because I wasn't used to you know that level. Right, you was like, a gamer. I, yeah, yeah. Like in college, like in JUCO, I didn't practice that hard. So, and in college, you know, I thought you know I could just show show them a few things here and there and. That's why you see me, you know, even uh, with the Ravens, you know, I try to catch and just go hard and practice hard because 
you know, that'll prepare you for the game. So once yeah. I started doing that, I mean, I, I got to credit Baker for that. You know, Baker, he, my first year, he was on me hard. You know, he was, you know, you could do this. You just got to work hard, practice hard. So once I did that and I, I gained a starting job, you know, I think we, we played badly. Yeah, we was playing Oklahoma State. I broke the school record that week and it was just on from there. I, I now want to know a real, real truth right now. Yeah. Who taller, you or Baker? A uh, bigger taller than me. <laughs> Kyler? I got Kyler. No, I just want to tell people. Anyways, that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> let it rip, bro. Let, what you do? You be telling people what? And, uh, Kyler, they be putting Kyler at like 5'11". I'm like, Bell, ain't no way. Like, he's Kyler's shorter than Russ. I'm tired Yeah, he's not 5'11". Like, you know, he, Kyler, a full baller. That boy gave me some sauce in the Cardinals game. I slipped oh. off him and was pissed. I yeah, finally got a hold of him. Hey, I tried to blame him. I picked, I picked, yeah, you can't get away from this suplex, though. No, no, Kyler he, he is a assassin. Hey, He's an he assassin a on that field. But he we, hey, we, was, thing, we were standing run. up, and I looked down. I was like, he ain't 5'10". <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> hey. Hey, shout, out, shout out to Mr. Murray, because I done pissed him off, too. I saw him, and I was like, I was like, your son ain't 5'10". <laughs> <laughs> you can't charge the daddy up. Pops ain't like that. That's my fault, Mr. Murray. So you was at Oklahoma for two years, and then yeah. you left. Yeah. That boy, you caught, you caught that Baker boy and hit Kyler the, in two years. That's a hell of a try. That boy yeah. hit the express program. Boy, <laughs> yeah, boy. Hey, so it's, when did when did Hollywood come to play? Like, don't even know your real name. It's Mar Marquise. Yeah. yeah. That, when I that game, I said, you know, they put me in Kansas State. Second half, the oh, announcer so started calling comments. me Hollywood. Yeah. Announcer mm. gave it to you. Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. Gus Johnson. Hollywood That's Brown, fire. yeah, and everybody Hollywood just, Brown. I was yeah. like, dang. My nickname was Jet growing up. Like, all my friends from, you know, Hollywood, they call me Jet. So, like, they like, Hollywood, like, but I, I look at it as, like, you know, I don't represent my hometown. Like, yeah, they call yeah. me Hollywood. I'm like, yeah, like, I, that's what I do it for. Mm -hmm. Facts. That's dope, that's dope. Facts. And then go go ahead and get, was there was there the best moment? Was was the best moment for you that second half game, or what was your best game for you? What was the moment you were like, damn, like, I'm going to be cold? In in college, before uh, we get to to the league, I mean, I I want to say the Oklahoma State game because I broke the record and that was like my first game starting. But I think you know I had two sixty five that game, so it was it was like it was crazy. How many but, catches though? Nah. <laughs> yeah, ain't no, slant, hey, ain't no slants, man. Hey, I'm no, no, but you had games with like three touches for two hundred, right? Yeah, yeah. But my I had I yeah I had my my last year I had. First quarter, 191 versus Iowa State in the first quarter. So it was like... Uh, Chico, how many, on how many catches? I think three. 190 that's, on three uh, catches? Look, that's why they got to run back the NCAA. Like, the NCAA yeah. game, boy, would have been that star Listen, bro, plus the star. My dog averaging 60 yards a catch <laughs> in the first quarter, bro. Well, hey, it don't even matter. You as, like, you as a DB, you looking at your coach like, Coach, what I do? If you don't... <laughs> DB, DB coach be like, if you don't like your matchup, back up. He still got me. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. Yeah, it was it was crazy, but I think the game is the Rose Bowl. My first year Rose Bowl when we lost to Georgia, you know I played, you know I was playing like hard that game, and you know they had a lot of D one. I never looked at myself like my dream, like growing up was always, you know I gotta make it D one. Like they tell me I can't do it, so I never really thought about the NFL. I didn't really, I didn't really watch the NFL like that until LJ and like Calvin Ridley and like those dudes start making it to the NFL because I knew them. So I started watching the NFL more. But growing up, I was really like college. Like that's what I want to do. I want to make it to college. So uh, it was really a hard decision for me to even leave college, <laughs> like because mm -hmm. that's how much I loved it. Like, but you know, it, you know, it's a business that, side too. Bag was well, I'm here to tell you. I'm glad you <laughs> did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the bag was calling. Yeah. It was really hard did. for me. And it then was. coach said I was going first round. So <laughs> hey, nah, it was really because I got injured, dog. If I ain't get injured, I probably went back. Huh. Yeah, I got I got injured. I'm, I'm glad that it all happened the way it did, because I was sitting there as a first year raving like, we need this young boy right here. <laughs> he was on the clock. I said, it better be Hollywood Brown. <laughs> it said Hollywood Brown. My dog came through real dapper with the Hollywood chain. <laughs> Our piece hanging off the chains, the details. The oh, details. So that's, that's a strong statement coming out the rip. 
And yeah. then, mm. then had a year like you had. We was out there just looking like. Listen, bro. And I'm then like, it's sort of cold at every position. And then we go to Miami first game. He back at the crib. Him, <laughs> LJ. You know, I live down here now. Willie down here. We come back to Florida. We go all the way up. Yeah. Well, first up. of all, first of all, that's not fair. Miami being dire straits. Listen, listen, bro. <laughs> Miami being dire straits. Maybe they be all right this year. Maybe, maybe they be listen, all right. Bro, this year. I, I popped off a big run off the rip. I'm thinking I'm about to get the ball again. I'm, I'm blood flowing. I'm like, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm about to go for a hundred in the first quarter. Them uh, LJ pull that thing and throw a bullet to uh, Hollywood. He break a tackle. Uh, sixty Gone. yards to the crib. My dog hit him with the. Oh yeah, yeah. He, chopped. he chopped. Yeah, Look, I didn't know you scored the first game. Bro, wasn't it your first touch, bro? Yeah, my first two catches was touchdowns. Tell me about it, bro. Oh, you different. Tell me about the plays. Tell me <laughs> Yo. what's going through your mind. Yo. Tell me about it, bro. Uh, I think for me, I, when I look back at my rookie year, it, I got to give credit to, you know, you and guys like OB, Ronnie Stan, like y'all kept me level-headed because you know me, I used to be like hot yeah. just because yeah. the way I was feeling. So like uh, that game, I really didn't expect to do much. Like I wasn't feeling it like at all, but you know, God do stuff. So, you know, made a play. When I caught it, you know, and broke the tackle, I'm like, oh, like, when I lined up first off, I'm like, no way they finna like lead this and lead this and man. I see the safety roll to you. I'm like, oh, like LJ, throw it, throw it. <laughs> he threw it, I catch it, I'm running. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. I just scored. Like the second window was like even more crazy because it's like it's like third and like twelve. We we like back against. We about to get a safety. I'm running and I'm like, yo, it's a safety on me one on one. I'm like, yo, I know he, I know you're not doing this. Like to me, I'm like, I know they're not doing this. I I cut off the post. I'm just running. I see the ball. I'm like, oh, like we we getting this. <laughs> once I catch it, so once I catch it, I see him like, you know, you gotta slow down once you catch it. He running full speed, so I'm like, I'm not going down. I'm going to just kind of ease this way and, like, tense my body up. So whatever he do, I'm going to stay up. And he swiped, stayed up. And I was like, yeah, this. if every week like this, I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm Nino, telling you. No, Nino, I, I'm struggling. I'm in there flying. That's when I knew he was the real bro. deal, bro. He had two catches for about 110. First two catches, bro. Yeah. Like, two catches, two TDs, about 110. It's up. Okay. Yeah, I'll say, that, I'll say it changed lifestyle. I'll be up there, big trust. Yeah, Boy, hey, had, <laughs> I'm calling God with him. I'm, I'm calling God. You feel me? <laughs> Gotta it, call it God, man. Every time, cause he right on time with it. Every on time, time, every time. Uh, yes, sir. First, first receiver selected in the draft. First two catches to go for touchdowns. Damn, my dog was balling. Had yeah, all type yeah. of. I'm not gonna say twenties is a value pick. I'm just simply saying as as three products of of being selected in the twenties, we we hold it down. Mark's a twenty eighth overall pick. I'm a twenty fourth. Hollywood, you was what twenty fifth? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm just saying Gotta value pick. You know what I'm saying? The proof yeah. is in the, the pudding. pudding. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll say, you, did you take a big hit this year? Like, was there a defender, like a safety that came over the top on you? Uh nah, I ain't really take no. Oh, hit. You came, you came through slick thing. Yeah, I'm coming through real what about, slow. What about the hit versus Pittsburgh? You caught. Oh it. yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. It wasn't a big hit. The ground hit you harder. Yeah, Joe Hayden kind of like, like I don't know if he was trying to make a play on the ball or hit me. Like he kind of just like I'm in the air. He mushed me in the back of the head, and I landed right face first. I'm talking about. I'm like, boy, you hit like a flagpole. <laughs> yeah, like legs up in the air. <laughs> Bam. I'm, I'm like, that's when I say, man, I got to get some more weight. Oh, they, ain't <laughs> <laughs> they ain't finna just keep doing me like that. Hey, like. Kev, my dog got up all the grass. Hey, right all here. the grass. <laughs> I ain't know where to celebrate or be mad at Joe. Like, I'm like, yo, why you just, bro, like, I caught it. You know I was catching that, bro. Like, you have to do that. Favorite catch this season. Favorite, favorite, favorite catch uh, as a rookie this year, man. What was it? I know I got mine. Tennessee. Mm. That thing, yeah. cover two, one handy. Yeah. Get us some momentum going into halftime when we was down, but yeah. we're gonna get that. Was get my that uh Cardinals. <laughs> Cardinals? Cardinals, that third down, yeah, over the yeah. shoulder, toe to toe tap, mm. yeah. clutch. Yeah, my dog was... got upset. Oh, <laughs> 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 yes, sir. 
<laughs> crowd meter. Checking the crowd meter, man. Trying to see what's going on. So like, I know you said you want to gain on some weight. You, you gaining that weight. I see you looking them traps kind of sitting up on your shoulders a little bit higher than they normally is. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I mean, I don't put in that work now, man. I'm just I'm ready to get it. back. Ready to get back and see what the progress is going to look like. So you've been putting in work with LJ too, where you've been finding grass. Yeah. Just putting in that work somewhere. What's been going on with y'all, man? Yeah, yeah, man. Whenever we get, whenever we together, man, I just try to get it together, man. Let's do this. Let's do that. Throw this. Throw that. Throw this. Throw that. But at the same time, not killing it. So it's like we'll do it a couple times. We was hitting it hard, though. When I was down there in Florida, we was going pretty hard. Cause I told him I was going to leave soon you know, just to get back to Baltimore and by myself and, like, just be able to focus on myself. So once I was in Florida, we hit it pretty hard. And once I got to Baltimore, you know, just then it just – Check in on him and you see how you doing, how you living. Yeah. So, and it's like, you know, he from where I'm from. You know, I got other guys from where I'm from. Everybody don't make it out. Everybody don't get the opportunity. So, like, Lamar, you know, how how we push Kodak, you know, you see we represent yeah, for Kodak. Yeah. Because, sure. you know, he made, he made it, you know, out for what he do. So, for Lamar, you know, for him to be a quarterback, you know, for him to be where we from, you know, for him to just represent us, we push like 1,000. We're going to, like, they're going to go hard for him for whatever. So that was, that was pretty much my mindset. Mm-hmm. Anything I did in college, you know, he write me like, well, I see you, boy, blah, blah, blah. Like, he do something like, yeah, boy, like, you know, even from a distance, like, without even writing him, you know, you just on Twitter. Like, I see some that's Lamar Jackson related. I'm going to, you know, repost it. I'm going to do the most about that. And then when it was, like, getting close to the end, you know, that boy tap in, like, I'm like, yo, y'all come get me. He like, we coming. Yeah, yeah <laughs> sir. And then, yes, sir. you know, when I got drafted next day, you know, that boy, on, we on the phone. You know, I slide to Baltimore, you know, he pull up. So it was just that type of thing. I think we spent, like, that whole day together, you know, we just talking up, chopping it up, you know, going back to where we come from. And it was just, like, crazy, like, you know, we ain't know each other like that growing up. But how much stuff and people yeah, we knew, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's in common. Yeah, so it was yeah. just crazy. Like you know him, like yeah, like yeah, that's. That, I'm like yeah, I know that boy too. Like so yeah. it was just it was just crazy like that, and just having the same lingo and you know him understanding like blah blah. blah I know how he thinking. He know how I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. Like you know mm-hmm. somebody could be from somewhere else and I could be ta- saying something, but I don't. It ain't coming off like that, and somebody else don't understand. But he. He understand or yeah. same verse for him. Like I could tell somebody like, nah, he ain't saying it like that, but like, <laughs> so right. it's just stuff like that. And, and, you know, now it's just cool. You know, just to, I heard stories like, you know, it's never going to be the same after you leave college. Like, you know, you're going to get in this locker room, you know, it's going to be dudes, you know, they got families, this and that. It's not going to be, you know, as, as fun. But when I got there, it was just like, you know, a lot of young guys and a lot of like old guys that's mixed that got, you know, they own personalities. And I think it's just, it, I'm, I'm glad that God put me in this situation, you know, to have, you know, somebody at quarterback that, that comes where I'm from. And he, rep- for himself, you know, he represents something so big, you know, even mm-hmm. with all this, you know, black inequality stuff going on, you know, he represents stuff so big. And I just, I be trying to get him to realize that, like, bro, like, you, you more. So, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. more, like, you, you bigger special. than, yeah, 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 for sure, bro. Cause like he he been doing this for a while. It's like you know that little kid that that you know that need hope, that need inspiration. That was me. You know I'm looking at him like, yo, that boy really doing it. So like mm-hmm. that made me go even harder. Like and I'd be l- telling him like you know it's it's more little kids like that. You know it might be somebody next to you and they just need you to just do this yeah. just to you know, inspire put, them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of why I'd, I'd be posting like videos on IG like. Just because, like, you know, I'm small, I go through injury, you know, but I could just post, like, I'm working out every day. If I miss a day of working out, you know, I get, like, a, a hundred messages of people saying, like, you ain't working out today? So that, like, pushed me, like, like, yo, bro, every workout, I got a kid say, every workout you do, I do every day. So that, like, that just fueled me to, like, keep going and just help somebody out. Yeah. 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 Hey, man, hey, just off GP, you know, the show called Trust Levels, cause you know, he's on the levels and you know, we got the big trust, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. You gotta tell him, man, tell us how the trust and kicked off, man. You know, <laughs> that's hood lane go down there, Hollywood, how, how that happened, LJ. You know what I yeah. mean? I know, 
You gotta yeah. tell me how to how to trust originated. I know how the big trust originated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell so me they, how to trust. The trust, then it had to be the big. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, trust is uh, some kind of like you just pick up growing up. Like you talking to people that like trust, like trust, like so. Even when I uh, no, I said, but when I when I was getting not when I was getting drafted, but when I was in college, you know, when I'm talking to Lamar. He like trust. And you know, I thought it was so cool how like he a quarterback, but he always like, you know, he talked like us. Like he yeah, like he's still holding it down, like he's still representing like for us. Like, so I looked at myself like, you know, I'm down here in college, you know, this boy in uh in NFL, he still talked like us, do all this. So like when I finally got drafted, you know, and I got to talk to him in real life, you know, it was like, oh yeah, this boy like. But it's still the same. We still, hey, we still the same. Like it, it, it's crazy. So then you know the you know how the locker room picked up on it, and then when you got it with the big trust, that junk just everybody. I'm talking people hear about it in the jails, in the jail cells. They they, they like yo, like y'all really saying trust out there. Like y'all 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 crazy. I'm like <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy man. How how I just blew up like that. Yeah man, you got to stay true to yourself. You can't lose yourself. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You can have the sauce, but you can't get lost in the sauce. Before our game, you got like, I guess we haven't asked this one. You got like any weird, like, I wouldn't say weird, but you got any rituals, like any habits? Like you always got to have your favorite laces on. You always like anything, anything different. Like for me, like where, wherever I go to a game, I always carry my football card to my daddy, which it would be in my office, but I'm pretty sure my kids throw that joint. Like wherever I like, whatever game we go to, I know that there's a there's like a, a Steve Jordan Pro Bowl Vikings card somewhere in my in my bags. Like you know, my shit is always legacy. Like whatever I do, it's always for the legacy. But like, do you do you have to have like a certain like wristband or armband or a tape or whatever? No. No, I never. Only thing I like, I gotta do like I pray like three times before a game. Like I pray mm-hmm. when I first wake up. I mm-hmm. pray when I get to the locker room. Mm-hmm. I pray when I get on the field. And mm-hmm. right before we take, it's like four times now. Right before we take the field, I pray again. So I just pray. Hey, Praying sure all day. Blessings. Hey, make sure yeah. you pray all day. Blessings. Yeah. Lord, you gotta I, I, be covered. All I want is health. Hey, that's all. That's all I say, man. God, I just pray. You know that I stay covered, and you know. That's all I really do. injuries. Right. Like not to me, just for like everybody on the field. Like, everybody. Hey, yeah. man, before you take the field, I'll be like, Lord, I want everybody to be able to play their best ball. Yeah. Let everybody play let, to let their best be ability. Like, everybody. I want everybody. I want, play I want everybody. Yeah. Let me play a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> if everybody playing at their best, it's one on one. I know I can win my one on one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah. win your one on one. Who is somebody you uh was your idol growing up, like you know, a professional player or anything? Who who was like idol for you growing up? I say like, like the local the local people and then AB like AB once he got in the NFL and then it was like Lamar and Calvin Ridley was like the first two like on where I'm from the really yeah it's like now nah, we got people to make it but it's a different magnitude of a level like they was really like you know dominant in college yeah. so it was like made everybody get hope like oh yeah we can like we play with them boys like we could do that. So I feel like them two and, and AB for sure. AB like, like was here. Like he yeah, like, I, yeah. Obviously that's your family. Your cousin, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So like he, he saw, always he gave me hope. The realization, like, yeah. yeah, I could do that too. Yeah, I'm in the immediate Ooh. too. Like your family, you see your blood do that. Ooh. What you say? Oh, we ain't gonna get that. I said, who's oh, no, faster? I'm faster. They ain't that. Oh. that. Have ain't you no lost, yeah. ain't a secret. Cool. <laughs> cool. Now, have you lost a race to any receivers on your college in, in the league? Anybody? Nope. Nah, I ain't never lose a race. I saw you gave your boy about a 50 yard head start at OU and hawking yeah. down, looking at him sideways, passing yeah. him. Where I'm from, man, I ain't with all that. Oh, he faster, they faster. I get out there and we race like you win. Like, I don't care. I play football. Like, I ain't no track run. It <laughs> 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 hey, ain't never a big deal to me when somebody be like, yo, I'm faster than you. I'm like, well, let's race. I don't care. Be faster than me. You ain't better than me. <laughs> right. Show, show yeah. me. There's yeah. a lot of people faster than me, but you ain't got it like yeah. me, though. You ain't got <laughs> it like you could, yeah. you not, you might not use your speed how I use my speed. Like, I don't yeah. care. Yo, speed don't translate, <laughs> man. Hey, use man. that quick. Man. I'm faster than you. I hear you, but you ain't doing what I'm doing on the field, though. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> so it's like, like when I when I used to when I tried to go do track, you know, 
I ain't like the uh practice, but I got there and raced, you know, all the track dudes. I'm fasting you, I'm like, oh, let's race. And I I ain't no no you know track race. I'm like, yo, get out here on the street. <laughs> get out here on the street. I take my shoes off, like I'm finna smoke you in the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't running no, ain't running no forties or hundreds. It's it's from this, yeah. fr- from this from part this of that pole, car. From this light pole to that light pole, I like me. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like me in this. Oh, like me. Oh, oh, like this. To that mailbox, I got. Yeah. I like me. Every I like time. me to that mailbox every time. <laughs> Let's talk gaming though, man. Let's talk gaming. Uh, what we I'm, on? What 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 state? We on PlayStation P- or no, you on Xbox? PC. You know, PC, we got we got a PC game. You a nah, PC? Nah, 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 you know, I, I got I got all of the above now. Nah. I just, oh, ooh. you know. What do you prefer? That's a real gamer. What do you, that's, I prefer. That's an uh, avid gamer. Depends on the game. Sports games, I like Xbox. Shooting games, I'm on PC. PS4 really for like, if I got to play against somebody that's on P4. Oh, so like when you played against me and, and scraped me in front of, in front of all my friends and fans, all my... We, Mark, we, they set us up, and the, the, the way they lobbed it to me was like, listen. hey, we're going to let you play against the Kyle Longs. The, I was like, oh, yeah, I can scrape them. Like, I've been, <laughs> on, I've been online. Like, I'm good. And then next thing I know, they're like, yeah, so we paired you up with Hollywood. I was like, all right, no doubt. Yeah, he just beat he just beat Duran James. So the way that I see it is my dog <laughs> Duran be on Madden forever, ever. Hey, hey. <laughs> listen, what, bro. This what you're going to do to me? <laughs> you should have let me know because I would have told you right away, do not play Hollywood. They asked me. <laughs> They called me. They said the Ravens is playing the Tampa in the Super Bowl, and we we want you to play Madden. And I'm like, listen, I can't even risk jinxing my squad. Y'all gotta, <laughs> y'all gotta go ahead and make Hollywood play that game. You know what I mean? I right. said, don't, I, I'm not doing that. Make Hollywood play, <laughs> and he beat beat beat, beat his head. Off of, and then, I was and trying then, to keep it closed, dog. I what? what? He looked me now. I was like, I don't play this shit too much, and got to wax in my. Like, bro, honestly, I probably would have chucked the controller had it not been for the fans. I was like, for the fans, for for, for raising for, a, for money for a good cause. <sighs> I'm going to take this L on the chin. <laughs> so the fa- favorite game, bro, what's the coldest game you had? I know you, I done ran the war zone with you. I done seen your snipe highlights, quick scoping from 300 meters, dropping folks. You know what I mean? But what's your coldest game, bro? Right now it's war zone. War zone, that stuff, bro. Yeah, right now that's that's what I like to play. All day, all day, every yeah. day. Yeah, mm-hmm. on the PC with it. Yeah, be out there getting scraped in that too. <sighs> I'm just not who I thought I was. Hey, <laughs> you just gotta be. You just gotta be a uh, out there for your team and war zone. You, know, you ain't gotta saying. be the best. You ain't gotta be the best. You gotta you be just a role, gotta, role player. Role player. You just gotta know your role. You know, I get in there. Know my role. <laughs> I'm a hey, soldier. If, if, your, if, if your role is revive King, that's what you do. Don't yeah, you die. Just be, yeah, be reviving. I'm, just, I'm look. I'm, I'm over there, Leroy mm, Jenkins. Look, <laughs> Ken, where you going? I gotta go get him. <laughs> Never mind. I ain't get him. <laughs> Tell him about the good line, I got, boss. Hey, I got yeah, homies what? like that. We call them hair that's first. Me. Hey, that's me, and I'm in the gulag. Quick, help. <laughs> The gulag ain't where you want to be right now with the musket and uh oh yeah, you get in there with them snipers. Nah. Snipers, crossbow. I'll take the crossbow. Once that new patch came in, they went from revolver to the I, I saw a crossbow. I said, this ain't for me no more. I'm not. <laughs> no, <the laughs> I'm not crossbow, ever getting out of here. I hate the crossbow in there. One hit or quitter. You gotta read it. If you miss, oh the reload it's over. forever. Yeah. If, if you miss, you might as well just try to flank them and beat them up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> My dog, my dog, Hollywood, I don't know if you see it. My dog be coming through Gucci down, head to the toe. Uh, it's fresh, twisty. <laughs> hey, who the best dressed in the Ravens locker room, man? Other than yourself, my good uh, man. Best dressed. Look at him, look at Louboutin Don out there waiting on it, too. No, I'm not. I, 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 uh, <laughs> hey, good oh, luck. Oh, my bad, Mark my bad. Mark, my bad, Doobie my bad. Dripping. Dripping. Mark do be dripping. The Chanel King over there. He got the uh, CC. Hey, I got Amiri, designer, Amiri. but I do got, you know, regular kicks, too, though, Cam. You know, I, got, I don't I, even know, I'm though. Not. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not the one that be paying attention, so it's, like, really hard for me. I'm trying to... It's, it's gonna be cheating, because I only see, like, a few players... I only see you. I see LJ, OB, like the, the receivers. I don't get to see everybody. So I can't, I don't want to. You ain't got to worry about office alignment. I know one yeah, thing. Yeah, like, yeah. Office alignment listen, ain't coming listen, in. Listen, like, no, we do. We do. OB, we got oh, no, he, OB, call him yeah. Big Drip. Big OB Drip. Big Drip. Big Drip. Got a foxtail on his, on his band. The foxtail got a whole story behind that. 
but he he's a big swaggy old lineman. You feel me? He ain't like just wearing Wranglers and a yeah. big. He's uh, still Patagon- rocking true religion jeans. Yeah, he ain't wearing big Wranglers and and, and a big white Patagonia. <laughs> he said true religion. Jeans. You know what I mean? Got the true religion with the boot cut jumps. <laughs> <laughs> These true religion though. <laughs> Truths though. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, dog. I don't know. It's all good. It's attention. all good. We'll 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 allow you to respectfully play. Right. Craziest, craziest, cool uh, uh, craziest jewelry piece is that is that uh, LJ? Lamar yeah. got that. Lamar LJ's got that crazy. that jackal up Listen. there. Is it, is it is it a jackal? It's a jackal, right? What is it? Uh, no, nah, he got a uh, wild dog. Oh, no. African wild dog. I mean, I call that a jackal. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We saying the same not, shit. A jackal is not a wild dog, bro. <laughs> What's a jackal then? A jackal. It's like a yeah. hyena, ish, right? A jackal is like a wild uh, African dog, right? No. Oh. All right, cool. We, we're gonna leave it at. at Where that come from? Did anybody know the story on that? Look, I didn't see. He, you know, you know Hollywood. <clears throat> I mean, I, rem- I, I I got told it, but I don't want to say the wrong thing. All yeah. I'm gonna say is, is when I said jackal, a jackal is a, a slender, long-legged wild dog that feeds on game and found in Africa and South Asia. Just saying, I wasn't wrong. Just to put that out there, I ain't, I'm just so never wrong. What is this? What is this closest? It's so it's a it's a long, slender wild dog. So it is a wild dog. I just know I wasn't wrong. You was right, but I wasn't wrong. I'm confused. <laughs> it's a version of an African dog. Yeah, it's something. It's something like a African yeah. dog. Hollywood, man, tell me about the uh the pregame playlist. Uh, what you what you bumping in your headphones when when you driving to work out or uh, mandatory pregame in the locker room? What's getting you right? No, I'm bumping that Kodak. You know, uh, Kodak. When? Yeah, yeah, yeah. when is he out? When I'm, I'm bumping that Kodak Jack Boy. Free, free yak, my dog. Yeah, yeah. Jack County. All them Broward boys, right? Yeah, yeah. But I've been I, I rock with little baby too. The baby be going hard. Little baby be snapping. Yeah, yeah. Little baby snapping. What about traveling? You you got any tr- nice travel spots you like? You been traveling anywhere nice? I, I obviously I, not. His, I, I say his first his first off his first season, off season all COVID. got shut down. Yeah. yeah, his first off season he was quarantined. He saw four walls. That I went to Aruba too. though before. Oh, before I did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I went to Aruba uh, before Mark put me on. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. You know, you know, Mark big travel. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't yeah. get no, I ain't get but two trips in before we got shut down. I was on a on a Disney cruise with the kids, and then I had a Nickelodeon in then the DR with the kids. And next thing I know, I'm just stuck in the house. <laughs> I'm I'm looking at this ugly mug every day. Like, this all I got. <laughs> oh, hey, we didn't even ask you. Look, so that first that first check come in. Before you you have to pay something called a uh, uh, FICA and, and Uncle Sam before they, they chop you. And you was like, I'm rich. What was Man. the first thing you splurged on? Man, nah, ain't gonna lie. it took me a long time to get in the realization that they take all that money out. So I'm they like, you. You, know, Listen, you know, you get drafted. T- I'm 10 years in, I'm 10 years in and I still am confused. Every time I look at my <laughs> check, like, like they really what? take that much. <laughs> like uh, all of that. It wasn't tax day today. Like <laughs> it takes some Ta- more money. Like, man. Yeah. I was like, hey. you took half and now you want some more. You want more, like you ain't paying enough. No, I gave you at least 51%. I ain't see all Yeah, money. like for real. So it was like when I when I when I got drafted, you know, my agent, you know, telling me like this your sign of bonus. And I'm like, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then when you know the money actually dropped and I look at the statement, I'm like. No, I call my mom. No, I'm thinking like somebody trying to jip me. <laughs> my mom like, boy, that's that's the uh, you know, that's uh, that's tax government right stuff. there. Yeah, you like pay all you that. gotta do that. And then, but luckily, you know, I got a good team around me. I haven't spent none of my like NFL money. I I haven't spent my marketing Ooh, money. Hollywood got sponsors. Yeah. Hollywood, yeah. Adidas, what, Hollywood, you gotta, Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I what got the sponsors. You got what two fifty from now for running something like that. Uh, I don't know what I got from him. Look, though. I, got, I, don't, I don't know what I, I, is is it, Isn't that like, don't they pay like the fastest person at the combine or something? I ain't do the combine though. I was oh, hurt. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I was really hey, hurt I, that I ain't get to run. Don't don't Adidas do that though at the combine? Like they give somebody like a hundred racks? They, they, they get, they no, they give away islands. They was giving away a meal, islands, all type of stuff, man. An island? Yeah, they gave somebody an island. I think it was John Ross, but he took the money. I think he took the money. 
or oh no, island? he ran with Nike. So that year they was giving away an island or a million dollars, but he ran in Nike and broke the record. Now where is the island? Is that's the question. I don't think he got it. He didn't get it because he he went with he, wrote, he was he on Nike. Nike. Mm. Dang. Mm. Dang, that's loyalty right there. Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie. I was loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. I was in my head. Nike I'm like, you better Yo, give me island. something. Yeah, if it ain't an island, can I get a house? <laughs> 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 you owe me something. So quick. Hey, what you was number five in uh in college? Yeah. What made you want to do number five? Uh Reggie Bush. Oh, you you yeah. was a fan, you was a Reggie you fan. Was, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I always I played running back up until eleventh grade and I switched to receiver. Yeah. So, yeah. You I, was I was toting that tater? Toting that tater. Ooh. I was like only. The dudes got big. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine yeah. rocking number five. That means you had all the wiggles back in the gap. Yeah, yeah. Because you look at guys like like Reggie. Reggie was real deal Holyfield in college. They ain't, you ain't catching nobody that was like him. Yeah. That's who I like. I looked up to Reggie. Like USC, I, I used to watch his high school highlights. Like So before a game, I still do. I watch highlights. Like The night before a game, I sit there mm-hmm. and watch highlights of dudes. And Reggie, I, I still watch Reggie. And just, you know, how he set dudes up and you know, the way he don't lose speed after the moves. Mm. He was just crazy. So what you're saying is you do have a tradition. Yeah, that is it. If that's a tradition, yeah. (laughs) Night before the game, that's inspiring though, man. Hey, what? I wake up and I gotta gotta watch some highlight. That's really how I get the tape in. I be watching like, oh, I'm like, what offensive lineman I'm going against? What is his name? All right, let me just watch this. I watch like five clips. Like, "Eh, that's what offensive linemen do. They float and they're fat. That's all you gotta worry about. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, like, oh, he, it's, a, it's crazy coming from college and getting to play with guys you don't look like watched them you know modeled and and it's like now when you on the field with them it's like nah like i gotta show you that i belong here with y'all so it's just pretty cool just to see all the guys is mm-hmm. there one is there one like dude in the league that you actually want to meet like for me it was like julius peppers like i wasn't i wasn't no whole about it but like once i got a chance to meet him i was like I think the the Ravens the Ravens got so many like players that's just I done knew for so long that I looked up to when I got here. It's like, yo, oh, that, that's that's Mark Ingram, like that's freaking Earl Thomas, like that's Marcus <laughs> Peters. Like when we got Marcus Peters, I'm like, yo, we really got Marcus Peters, like <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So if see the Marshall Young, like when I when I met Marshall Young, I'm like, yo, this, I've been playing with this dude since Man 04, I feel like, <laughs> like so it was like crazy. Just to see all the people. So when I when I went and played against other people, it wasn't as when I seen Tom Brady. It was like, oh, that's Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. Right. Other than that, it was like seeing like Mark Earl Thomas. That's like, right. man, that's, that's what's dope about this league, man. Is yeah. like you play long enough, man. It's like or you know when you're young, you know these these guys that you idol or guys that you watch, they become your rivals and your teammates. Yeah, and like that's what's so special about our yeah. game, I believe, man. That's crazy. Man. Hey, hey, I, we got some of the coldest jersey combos. Ain't nothing like the Ravens, Ravens jersey. <laughs> bro. Hey, what's your favorite? What's your favorite jersey combo? Black and gold. What? Nah, I like that. No. I like that. that black, black and gold. Black. Is, that black on black with black helmets at I night. I like that. Black like hitting black. that. And then that 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 uh, color rush purple on purple. Super drill. Yeah. Super. And you changed your helmet this year. That helmet car. Got to. I said, I got to get some more details. Got to get the details. (laughs) Got to get the details. Hey, man, put me on some favorite food spot in Baltimore. You're going to have to put me on. Okay. He Uber eats everything. You at the crib? No, Chef. I meal meal plan. like Chef Shawty. My girl, my girl, Chef, she meal plan all that. All right. We're going to take you to RB dinner this year. How about that? We'll let you be a special guest. Yeah. Because I don't, I literally don't know. I know Jimmy Seafood. Jimmy's That's the only one I know. Jimmy's is a winner. <laughs> That's not Jim, Jimmy's is a winner. Yeah, I barely get. I go out like I don't really. That's why he get. How many Warzone wins you got, man? When you gonna run with the boy again? I will be on all the time, bro. bro I send you invites. You don't. You don't respond. <laughs> hey, I, I don't know if my KD ain't high enough. Hey, they send me an invite when I'm in the game. Like you know how long them games take. Yeah, then I can't, get out can't. the game. They in the game, so I ain't feel wait. <laughs> I'm like I gotta get <laughs> no back get, get back get to it. <laughs> Yes, sir. Now I I got something to ask y'all though. Huh? So how like for uh 
how y'all approach like each off season? Like, do y'all have like a schedule or like y'all just go with the flow? No, my my off season is always the same. I don't I don't do nothing but try and be fat and happy up <laughs> until like March. Like, yeah. if it ain't, if I'm eating good. I'm I'm traveling better. I'm trying to do like the most I can from whenever we done to like well. I guess whenever we out of Super Bowl, because mm-hmm. Super Bowl week, you know, you work it, and then Pro Bowl, like, that's that's another chance to make some money if you in it. So after Super Bowl to like end of March, I'm out there, whatever. Yeah. And then right around end of March, you look up like shit. I got to get right. And then you yeah. hit a, like you hit a like slight crash course, and then once you get in, it's really it's really that that work period is from whenever OTAs allegedly ends. You know what was that June. Mm. to july like right now is that grind mode yeah like right right now is the two days it's the it's the early wake wake up it's the it's the uh second dip in in, in the afternoon which apparently i may not do today <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I, i'm very similar with my hollywood man um i basically like after the super bowl um i take some time off let my body heal let my body recover i got a couple things i go do um, for my knees, my shoulders, you know what I mean? And I just let that recover. That's like through February. And once March comes around, I try to start getting back into it slowly, whether it's some cardio, whether it's, you know, two to three times a week doing some work. Um, then once Mar- halfway through March, I start, once April hits, I start ramping up a little bit more to prepare myself as if I was going to OTAs, because I don't go to OTAs in the off-season workouts anymore, um, being in my 10th year. I'm sorry. Um, oh, but uh, <laughs> but so I just I just I just stay right, you know. I, I try to um, keep my I try to sharpen my strengths, any weaknesses, any deficiencies I have. I try to bring those up, uh, make them stronger, and uh, just take care of my body. So it's medical, it's uh it's physical, it's mental, it's traveling with my family, being with my family. So it's just a a good. You know, if I feel like I need to work work harder, I ramp it up. If I feel like I'm working too hard and, you know, my body, I listen to my body, I, I taper it back down. But I'm always just listening to my body, putting in work, getting the recovery, and spending time with my family, man. So um, that's what my offseason consists of. And you're year two, and uh, you're, you're, you'll know, you know, as you keep growing, as you keep... Uh, well, I was to say, as you keep living, you just realize, like, you got to peak at the right time. Yep. Like, yeah. it's not about, like, I'm game ready. Bro, it's April. Sit your ass down somewhere. Like you have to, like you have to be able to let your body recuperate from the sixteen week, eighteen week, twenty week long season you just had. Yeah. Especially coming from your rookie year, you know you go from all the rookie like mini camp, all you know, go yeah. leading up. You got all this extra stuff that you're able to do, and then you go through the whole season. Your body, it, like being twenty one, twenty two, your yeah. body's like shit. I still got it, yeah. but. If you prep yourself, like, all right, well, let me take care of this little, like, you know, crick in the neck. Oh, my calf ain't fully hunted. Like, get yourself back to 100, and then it's like, now we're building. Yeah. Don't break down before you build yeah. up. Yeah, there's During just... the season, what y'all do? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. I don't man. I don't believe in cold tubs. I don't, like, I, yeah, I, I salute, ain't never did none of that. Hey, he ain't I, never sal- did none of that. I salute anybody who gets in a cold tub, because I ain't got it for you. <laughs> I'm I'm doing everything, man. I do everything from dry needling and acupuncture to chiropractor to deep tissue massage to yeah. fascial stretch therapy. Oh, I'm there to, for the chiropractor. To um all of that, man. I'm I'm in the cold tub, I'm in the sauna. I'm doing a lot to make sure my body is staying healthy and staying strong and staying. So I'm trying to I'm trying to perform at my optimal level and recover as fast as possible. I'm trying yeah. to perform at my optimal level and recover as fast as possible. So um, the same amount of dedication you put into the physical work, you have to have that same kind of energy towards the recovery, in my personal opinion, um, especially being a running back. You know what I mean? This dude over here, Cam, don't do nothing. He just What's go out mean? dry, hey, just be I officially, running. Hey, I officially get uh, massages once a week now. Like, in year, year 10. Nine, in year, year 10. Year, year nine, yeah. I finally got massages once a week. <laughs> I, I feel committed. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> but that was kind of ingrained in me from young because my dad played 10 years. You know, his father played like 13 years, but my dad was always big on recovery. So um, I remember he made me get in the cold tub, you know, after track meets. He'd be like, yo, you're going to sit in the cold tub. I'd be like, mad as a mug. Like, he'd be like oh, you're sitting in the cold tub. I'm like, it's three minutes. He's like, you good now? I'm like, I can't feel nothing. But, uh, you know, it all paid off dividends for me in the end because I, I, I do a lot to take care of my body. I invest in my body. Um, yeah. Your body is your money maker, so invest in it and take care of it, and it, it'll treat you right. Yeah, 
I appreciate y'all. Hey man, you know I got you back one thousand. You my yeah. brother from another mother. Yeah, kind of the same color. You feel? Me? <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you tapping in with me and Cam. Yeah, job. It's an honor to have you on Trust Levels, bro. No doubt. We appreciate you popping in for real, for real. Yeah, uh, bro. Over here. You no, know, I love levels. you, bro. Love you life, too, man. I got you back for life. Cam J, my brother. We got you, know you back, saying? man. Anything you need ever, man. You can reach out to in me. In about you know three that. years, y'all can just come on over because I'll still be here. Like when it's time for you to re up and Mark done with his deal, <laughs> come on, come on down south. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we get right. <laughs> you might come hang with us in the bank. I told man. him. We got I told him. Swing. I told him. We got him swinging at the bank right now. Mark man. Mark Ingram knows my temperament. I don't do anything under seventy. Like, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Boy, that hey they said it snow a little bit. I said, excuse me? Them <laughs> ravens take care of you, bro. Them ravens take care of you now. They I'm take care of you now. I, I hear you. you, but it's cold outside, Willie. Really. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> hey, I don't do the cold either, though. Yeah, that, that's no. something... That 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 hurts me. I ain't gonna lie. When we when I get out there and I just see the, like, the snow <laughs> and that, it made me not want to practice. I ain't gonna lie. Man. Be like, man. Hey, Listen, I see, we I have see more like, rain games than cold games, though. I see it rain, rain I'm like, like, so, I'm like, so, I'm like, so. Yeah, we play the 49ers. I'm like, coach, I know we're not throwing today, man. I might just take rain check this one, man. <laughs> <laughs> Me? I don't know about Bro, it's got to be a playoff game. Look, it snowed one time, uh, Philly, like 2013. It snowed pre preseason. I was like, it was 13 man, I was, like, degrees. I was like, look, I think I might pull a hammy this one. It's playoffs, Cam. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. One of my one of our uh, DBs at time, Ken Lewis, went out that thing with no, no shirt, shirt and a face mask. What you like, proving? You about hey, to catch like, me? I was like, hey, he, hey, he, he proved a lot because I was about to be like, hey, coach, my hammy. <laughs> I was out there looking like it looked cold. You put yeah. your hand in the dirt and that bit thirty degrees, hand frozen automatically. I don't know how people do it. I be Man, I be watching trying folks to like, catch the balls like a brick. Dude, you ain't got you ain't got yeah. a choice. Yeah, you know. I, I like it. Because everybody you. likes to tackle when it's cold. That means I'm running <laughs> hard. I might, I, might hit, look, I might hit you harder because I'm pissed. <laughs> look, I'm looking around like, why am I out here? And then Yum. guess what? It hurts you. <laughs> You're going to hurt you. <laughs> hey, it is going to hurt. Hey, no, you no. hitting that cold, it do hurt. <laughs> <laughs> gonna think no. twice after the I'm first time. You gonna think twice. <laughs> I'm here for I'm here for Tampa in August. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for that real heat. I'm here for Arizona in August. I'm <laughs> not here for Green Bay. Anything beyond October, September, <laughs> <Like> September. <laughs> There's no way around it in the AFC North because uh, you know autumn division games come in December and yeah. everything outside in the cold. Oh. Bruh, I'll say that look. Y'all got y'all got Steelers, Brown. I be looking in like the bangers. y'all look. Hey, y'all look cold. <laughs> Boy, be breathing and just be. <laughs> I I be feeling bad. Look, when I be watching folks warm up, I be feeling bad for them. But like, I'm like, bro, it's cold out there, huh? Hey, and we warm good? up though. We put together a 22 play drive. You gonna get warm? You get warm. Yo, I hear you. Look, you I hear warm. you. But you look. You come from. You come from Florida, so you know what heat is. Yeah. That cold strike different. Like. But I can give you 80 plays in 110 degree weather, and I'd be like, I'm I'm good, like I'm like I'm drenched, but I'm good. It'd be 40 degrees out, 10 plays in, I'm like, I don't know if I'm hot or cold, coach. 40 ain't bad. 40 40 actually is kind of chilly. What? Yeah, anything 39? under 50, I'm cold. Bro, anything under 65, <laughs> I'm in the burner. Like I, they got that little burner on the side. I'm in. I'm like trying to dig myself in there. Ain't way too much got to come to Baltimore. In the hey, way. I remember. Hey. Hey, it was in the huddle, right? It's one big jacket left. It's me and Lamar. I say, oh, like you running out here, bro. Like, I got to get <laughs> You already warm, bro. Hey, bro, like, I see the dirt on your jersey. You're warm. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm cold right now. Hey, I can't do this. I, you record, but I can't give you this one. Bro, boy, boy, <laughs> hey, hey. Boys be desperate for that jacket on the sideline, right. bro. Hey, uh, I remember one time we was playing in Seattle, Cam. I came off the sideline. It was that rain, cold. Oh, that, hey, plan. that's when he caught when he caught yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. The... They caught me a cadet under one jacket. It was, <laughs> it was no jackets left. I said, hold on, you gotta let me slide up under this. See how this game, I would I didn't play. I'm on the sideline, like looking like a little middle school. I got the you know the hoodie all the way right here to my face. <laughs> I'm like this. I'm like, yo, it's freezing. Nah, hey, I almost <laughs> took look, it was it was one of the in that same game, I think. Seattle playoffs, bro. I had I had the, the jacket on when I was running out there and I just left that thing at the numbers. I was like <laughs> <laughs> they had to come get that thing because I'm not like, bro, I'm just, 
I feel like I got a whole new respect for folks to do it in the cold. But anyways, like I said, appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you for coming on. Let let us tune you out real quick. Uh, Tune, tune, tune you out. Like, show you the way. Super, super, Paul. Tune, tune, tune you out. Okay. (laughs) 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 But now everybody's saying it. Little kids in the burbs out there. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>